the people who organise hunts. They're such a bunch of countryside people, countryside people, living their traditional way of life. They are just countryside people, countryside people, living their traditional way of life. But the evil Tony Blair, you can tell he doesn't care Cos he's banned them from chasing little foxes Those little ginger foxes, now they can't chase them anymore What or who or who or what will they find to replace? To chase Oh, the people who organise hunts they're such a bunch of countryside people, countryside people And you know they need something to do on Saturday afternoons Just like the rest of us So my question is who or what could they chase? Who or what could replace the foxes? Those little ginger creatures, those chicken stealing little ginger creatures that the huntsmen used to chase. Who could replace? Well, I was thinking about this the other day, and it came to me almost straight away that certain people in our community they love nothing better than being chased usually by a police helicopter and a number of cars thus taking up valuable police time which could be easily spent eating donuts and doing the crossword instead and who are these people of whom I speak I think you know it's the Twockers the Twockers those little Twockers and the people who like to Twock cars they love to Chased. And they're a bit more resourceful than ginger foxes It could even up the whole situation Can you imagine a group of upper class people on horses With their red jackets and their little trumpets going da -da 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 -da, Running after Chavitz walkers in their free stripe padded ass pants As they hotwired Toyota Corollas drove them away It would be an interesting day for everyone concerned It could become the next spectator spot And the people who organise hunts Then they'd be up against a tougher set of countryside people Countryside people They would have more chance than the poor foxes Cause those little twockers, they could give pills to the dogs And the beagles would start dancing to car alarms And those little charber twockers could give smack to the beagles Then you'd get a whole generation of smack addicted beagles Maybe they would turn to crime, canine crime Maybe they would twock police dogs and ride them really fast round the bypass And ride on the back of police dogs holding onto their ears And smash the police dogs' heads through the windows of pet shops Where they could steal all the bling collars Those beautiful bling collars And sell them to cats Because cats love a bit of bling And if the dogs that work for the hunters were all on drugs they probably couldn't even be asked to chase the twockers And the twockers could twock the Range Rovers that belong to the Hunts people And they could drive them really fast and knock them off their horses If you ask me it would be much more exciting At least when it was on the news and that or even on Look not half, look not half Look North, North, which is a regional news programme in the North. And the people who organise hunts, they're such a lovely bunch of countryside people.
countryside people live in their traditional way of life. They are countryside people, countryside people live in their traditional way of life. They are just countryside people, countryside people live in their traditional way of life. They are just countryside people, countryside people live in their traditional way of life.